Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Post, and we have our week uh, three matchup in the PWC versus mm-hmm. Seaton Nation. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Seaton Nation uh, and the Lehigh, Van- Le- Le- Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Um, in case anyone doesn't know, Colton is one of my best friends in real life, too. So this matchup was especially more difficult for the fact that we both kind of understand how we play, how the other person plays. And yeah, it's just very interesting. Uh, always playing against him, especially this week. I didn't have a team builder for a reason because I had no fucking idea what he was going to bring. Uh, with his team, he he has the ability to run a really good rain team, uh, a really good rain team that's half rain team, half not rain team. He's a really good normal team. Then he has uh, the ability to run a hail team too. Um, so it's just ridiculous. So I had no idea what he was going to bring. I kind of had to make a team that I thought would be able to play well against any sort of variant that was going to come. I didn't think he was going to bring weather. I genuinely didn't, did not. Um, I knew he wasn't going to bring hail. Uh, Bear takes just too slow, even with the um, ability slush rush. Um, I didn't think he was going to bring um, rain for the fact that I did pick up Ludicolo and dropped uh, Comfe, but I needed to bring it. I didn't want to bring Ludicolo. I did not want to, but I needed to just in case he brought rain because if not there was no way I was just going to get sweeped by him so this is a very difficult matchup to play um, with him to our team we have AV Guard of War it's bulky uh, running Trace which I can possibly take advantage of Trace with a couple of his mons uh, which is another reason I didn't think he was going to bring weather because I have the ability to Trace their Swift Swim or Slash Rush um, I have on it Psychic Moon Blast um, give me a second I completely forget everything. Uh, he, AV, Broad Trace, Moonblast, Psychic, Energy Ball, and HP Steel. That was for um, mainly the Alola and Ninetales. Get off a little bit of extra damage with it because I didn't really have a fourth move I needed to run. We also have Scylla Steeler running Life Leftovers. Um, EQ, Heavy Slam, Seed Bomb, and Leech Seed. This is uh, max defensive. This is take on things like uh, the Mega Swampert, Kabutop, stuff like that. The, his physical uh, sweepers. We also have Girder, uh, an Eviolite, obviously, Guts, Tox, uh, Drain Punch, Toxic, Mach, Mock Punch, Knockoff. The Toxic was there for if he brought um, Hip on top or something like that that can wall this. Excuse me. I can get off Toxic and then just kind of dwindle him down from there. This thing actually can put in a decent amount of work. It can eat up a decent amount of physical hits from his attackers, and I can do a lot in return. Because even though it is only a Girder, it still has base 105. Um, attack, which is pretty good. Like I said, I had to bring. I did not want to bring Ludicolo, but I needed to for the off chance he brought rain. Um, running AV, Giga Drain, Ice Beam, Scald, and Seismic Toss. As for certain mods, I can't really touch at all. So I figured, why not just get off a clean 100 points of damage if I need to? Like I said, this I didn't want to bring this at all, but I needed to. Um, we have our Mew set. I am finally bringing um, a Zemon. Uh, it has Psyche MZ and it has Nasty Plot, Trick, Psychic, or Aura Sphere. So my plan for this was late game, if I could possibly set up a Nasty Plot on something and then Z Trick it if he ran a fast team to outspeed everything to give me with the plus two speed. Or worst case scenario, I just fire off a Shattered Psyche um, at plus two. But it, this would have it would put in a, it will put in a lot of work depending upon. Um, like the, mon- the Monty brings, how fast they are, stuff like that. So this was kind of a risky thing to do. I was thinking about bringing like Rain, um, Z, wow, well, I can't think of it, Sunny Day to get up to one, uh, plus one speed and stuff like that to take away from the weather. But once again, I didn't expect him to bring weather at all. And we also have Curum, uh, just regular Curum, uh, Scarf, Drake, your Meteor, Dragon Pulse, Flash Cannon, Ice Beam. So that's the team. Um, so like I said, I had no idea what he was. I knew he was going to bring Jolteon. Uh, I figured Torrenty and Kieran Block were coming, but past that, I had no idea. I, mean, Savali, I knew Svali was going to come. I just didn't know what kind of Svali was going to be. So I'm just going to straight up lead off with Gardevoir because um, it puts in a lot of work against this team, and he leads off with Kieran Black. I'm thinking, cool, he does have access to Iron Head, which will kill me if he's max attack or if he's just um, physically offensive. So I wasn't sure, and I didn't really want to take that and possibly lose this thing turn one so I'm going to play it safe and switch out into 
girder, but he makes a good read at that point, um, switches out into um, Torn T. So I have to switch back out into something. I'm just going to go into Kira. I fear he's going to U-turn here because um, I would have to switch out there. So he does. He U-turns out and he goes out into Swampert. Makes sense. Um, I'm just going to fire off an Ice Beam. I don't really have anything to touch this, but get off a little bit of damage was good. He just goes straight for Earthquake. Um, this thing is down very low already, but I didn't I could have switched and sell the steel there. Um, I probably should have in retrospect, but I just went, I didn't know what he was going to do. I didn't know if he was going to get up rocks or if he was going to set up. I, I kind of thought he maybe set up rain uh, himself and to start punching holes in the thing. So I figured, all right, let me at least get a little bit of chip damage off. Though I don't have to try to one shot it because I can't one shot it with seed bomb. I have to have, I think it does like 80%. But at this point, I'm going to go out into girder. Uh, he makes another switch out as well, which is smart. He goes out to Jolteon. Now, the, I knew Jolteon was going to be a problem, and uh, AV Gardevoir does it does Wallace thing decently well. Um, plus, possibly if he, you know, maybe he'll forget about Trace. I figured he wouldn't, but just in case, you know, he has to go for an unstab move at this point. And he sets up a sub. All right, that kind of sucks. He's going to fire off a Shadow Ball. Like I said, he, had, he couldn't use Stab against me at this point. And he does 32% and he gets the spadef drop. Um, I'm going to break this up obviously. That does kind of suck because this thing is going to do a lot more and I can't really switch out into anything. Um, I mean, I could have switched out into Ludicolo, I guess, but I guess he was doing nothing. I wasn't sure if he had any sort of variant of rain because he still has ways to get it up. So I want to keep that thing around. But yeah, I'm going to fire off a Moonblast after he hits me and does 50%. So this thing is already down so low. Which sucks that it puts in a lot of work. Um, I think at this point we're both just going to kind of switch out. I'm going to go out into my Ludicolo. At that point I should have gone out a turn earlier. He misses the Hurricane. Okay, yeah. I predicted him to switch out though. So I Skull. I could have Ice Beam and got off a lot more damage. But he's just going to U-turn out. I'm going to switch into Gardevoir hoping I can take one. Um, hoping he's you know all, special, or, uh, all specially attacking. And... I don't. If I could have lived that possibly, that would have been awesome because then I could have switched out immediately and gotten the regen, but I can't, sadly. Um, so Gardevoir goes down, which sucks. Is that puts, like I said, it puts in a lot of work against his team. Uh, he goes out into Swampert. I'm going to go straight into Celesteela and just take this thing out. He can't one-shot me. I'm going to take it out with the Seed Bomb, which is great because now I'm at plus one defense. I'm not at full health yet. He goes into Jolteon. I'm going to stay in here. I can take this thing out right now. And he would have to crit me to be able to, because I know he's not specs. He would have to either be specs or get a high uh, life orb roll, which I know he's not a life orb. Um, so I'm just going to stay in here, and I'm going to take it out. I know it's going to do about 70%. He tries to set up a sub and get predict me to switch out, which is smart, but no, I'm staying in. I'm heavy slamming. I know I can take you out. And like I said, it does about 73%. So I'm living. This is awesome. Celesteel gets the second kill of the game, which is fucking amazing um a plus two defense now he goes out into curum black which is kind of weird so i'm thinking okay maybe he has ice beam but that still is like a roll to take me out uh, he goes for fusion bolt yeah that does not take me out because i have plus two defense and he's running a little bit of bulk i can know that now because he doesn't even two shot him uh, i can't really switch out anything celestial is going to stay in here just go down to curum which is just a smart play on his part to not over predict me I'm going to go straight into Girder and fire off a um, Drain Punch at this point. I figured this was going to come in or Tornadus, but I don't really have anything to touch either one of them. It does 61%, which is awesome. So I'm at full health, and here is where it kind of goes downhill. He sets up an Aurora Veil. So shit. Uh -huh. Everything's halved, I think. Something like that. Um, so I can't really touch it. I, luckily, two Drain Punch or a Drain Punch into a Mock Punch it does take this thing out, so Girder gets picks up a kill, but at this point, this is going to be a struggle to get back into it. Um, it goes down into Tornadus. I'm going to switch out because I kind of need this thing to take on Kieran Black. Go on to Ludicolo. Um, maybe he'll miss. He doesn't. He hits his time. He does so much damage to me. So I'm just going to fire off an Ice Beam in case he misses, uh, but very smart play, like how he plays all the time. He's just going to U-turn out, take, pick up the kill, and go out into Savali. This is Savali Ghost. Um, so shit. I'm going to go into my Mew here because 
hoping that he's defensive, like physically defensive, and I can possibly start setting up and getting my shit off. At this point, though, the only thing that outspeeds me is uh, possibly Kurum that I can outspeed. Uh, Torrenty obviously does. So I'm going to set up a nasty block. He's going to fire off a shadow ball, and that almost takes me out. So holy shit. The one week he brings an offensive Savali. I was like, God damn it, Aurora Veil's up. I, I need a crit here on the Shattered Psyche to take this thing out, and then probably won't really have a chance at that point. He doesn't, uh, which is fair. And instead, he takes me out, so shit. This is not looking good. I had to go out into Kyurem, and I have to fire off a Draco. With the Aurora Veil up, it just really ticked me over this week. Um, once that got up in these late games, I couldn't do that much damage to him, so it He's going to pick up a win here. I'm just going to let you know right now, as you can probably guess, between my two last months. Um, yeah, he fires a sludge bomb. That's a good game on Colin. Played it very well. This week, it was just so hard to prep for that I had to bring stuff that I didn't want to, knowing he wasn't going to bring... Like I said, I knew he wasn't going to bring rain. I had to bring it, though. Um, it's just a really, really well-thought-out team on his part. Um, so that's a good game, Colton. Uh, we will be back next week with our week four matchup. Uh, hopefully, we should be able to win that one. I think we have a pretty good chance of winning it. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and peace.